right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion DC, your teammate Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and put that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Habib, there has been no hiccups, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Gentleman! And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner! This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. That one snuck in. Nice fight. Man, look at him load up on that right. Look at how he 
turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Block that kick to the body. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up, though, by the hands this time. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown attempts. You can't just shoot. You got to set your opponent up. You did that beautifully. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Back to his feet. Just misses with that one. Nurmagomedov gets caught by the elbow. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful leg kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? And he landed the right hand there. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Gets the elbow up into the target. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Ooh, what a punch. Attempts the front kick there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Hands high, hands high. 90 seconds to go in our opening round. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Slips that left hand. Collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's it, something. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Got the single collar tie. Big that knee, knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Oh. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. And that one certainly found the target. Over and over. Same story. Punch after punch to the head. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Round two is next. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's giving his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Look at him 
whip his hip into that kick. He lands a switch knee. Oh, big knees! Nurmagomedov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fight. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Big punch land. Nurmagomedov gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Left hand punch with the clinch. Jump. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Nurmagomedov has got full mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Right hand punch from the clinch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. What a punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. When you're in the clinch, you go to the body, that's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Just a slip there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent in position where he can get off the strikes. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Nurmagomedov gets touched by that kick there. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Nice punch here. He loaded up that high there too. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. There's the shot. There's another takedown by Nermago Medov. Oh, single collar tie here. Immediately gets the underhook. And they set it. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, 
rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Nice body kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh, big left hand there. Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked by Nermago Metal. Already closes the distance, gets the single hollow side. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, so leg attempt here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. Oh, hollow tie. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice job to land a knee to the body, man. I wish I was that tall. And they separate. Beautiful punch. Oh, nice land there by Namago Manov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dax. Man. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. Nermago Medov gets absolute. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! Oh, straight right. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Close guard. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Under two minutes to go. Now trying to trap an arm. He's gonna tag armbar here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, whose opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon.
So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of the third round. Declared the winner by tap out due to an on bar. So there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.